Guys, how many free drinks, free meals, abuse, and cupcaking over a woman to realize you're a sucker? How many boot camps, pickup lines, and all that other bullshit to realize that you ain't shit? In order to become a man, you need to learn dating and marriage advice from a man. You can sit on the sidelines or join us men on the mountain of ass and titties. Stop being her gay best friend and become the asshole she wants to sleep with. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the D, in www.themanmindset.com. And on today's email, I want to read uh, about a guy who's having an issue. Guys, if you have an issue, please uh, go to themanmindset.com, send me your emails, and I'll be happy to, if it's really interesting enough, I'll read it on the air. Broke up with my girl three weeks again over something stupid. Nothing's really stupid. Remember, every decision you make as a man is not really stupid. So there had to be just cause and why you broke up with the bitch. But uh, y'all been together for two years and that's two years that you wasted of your life, especially, I don't even know how old you are. If you are under 25, you should not be in a relationship. You should be out there fucking as many women as possible. Okay. Uh, we talk on and off and I've gone on a few dates. I told her that I'm the <laughs> worst thing you tell a woman I miss her and I still love her and you want to work on things. All right. Now, this is what he's telling her. She tells me that she misses me too, but she needs space. And wants to be single for a little while. She avoids talking to me too much, and when we talk, it doesn't. It, it and when we do talk, doesn't like. She, I guess she missed that. She doesn't like talking about us. I feel that she put me in a friend zone with a backup plan of getting back with me if nothing better comes along. Does this sound about right? No, it, it's it's not about right. It, um, what what has happened is is that. For two years of her life, she has been getting nothing but bad, boring dick. And finally, she probably did something to force your hand to break up with her, even though part of you didn't want to break up with you, with her. Part of you wanted to hold on to whatever you had. For two years of your relationship, there has been an asshole like me in the side of her ear talking that yak to her about how her fat her ass looks and how I want to eat that pussy and how if I got the opportunity I'd tear that motherfucking pussy up. For two years she has been telling guys like me no. But for two years it has been harder for her to say no because she is intrigued by the way our behavior is as a man. For two years, she has been with you trying to figure out what can she do to make you into one of us. For two years, she has been putting up with things. Matter of fact, I even guarantee you for the two years or the end of the two years that she has really tried to do more things with you that are freakier and weirder and outside the box where you for the last two years have probably been judging what she's been doing. Why are you doing that? That's disgusting. I wouldn't do that. That's nasty. But for two years, she's been hearing a guy like me talk that shit to her. You know what? Hey, I know you have a boyfriend, but you know what? You were fucking sexy as hell. I would love to eat that pussy. Ooh, if I got that pussy, I would tear that much. And all she would do is say, no, stop it. Oh, stop it. You need to stop. Oh, that's disgusting. How can you say that? Oh, you want to pull my hair, smack my ass, and tell me, to oh, how can you say things like that? And then for two years, she's been going to her boyfriend trying to get him to say those things. There comes a point where if you shake a bottle enough, the pressure will explode. And there was a time where what happened with her is that she got to the end of her rope. She figured out she could do something to make you mad enough to break up with her. But now again, women like this have a conscience. They're like, you know what? I'm not going to cheat on my boyfriend who can't fuck me. 
I'm not gonna cheat on my boyfriend who can't eat my pussy right. I'm not gonna cheat on my boyfriend who doesn't get my pussy wet. I, I'm not gonna cheat on him. But if he happens to break up with me and get rid of me, then that leaves the door open for me to find some good dick. And as soon as you broke up with her, guess where she went? She went to that individual who has always been trying to beat that door down and trying to fuck your woman. And what she did, she went to that guy. She was nervous because she knew that you know what? He talks a good game, but can he back it up? And not only did that man not back it up, he fucked the shit out of your girl. He fucked her so well, she, after it was done, after you know, remember when we told you what she do, she either is on the bed looking at you like why you did that. She's either in the corner rocking back and forth or she'll go in the bathroom, turn on the water and start crying because she cannot understand for two years of her life, she was been with someone like you who hasn't been fucking her correctly. So now she has just been liberated. She's got orgasms. She can be dirty. She can be nasty. She can do all the things she's always wanted to do with you for two years, but she couldn't because you didn't know what you were doing with that pussy. So now she's at a moment where you're saying right here that you want to you tell her that you know she you, you tell her that you you miss her and you love her and she tells you that she misses you too but needs space guys when she tells you she needs space she's telling you that i am enjoying myself with this asshole jerk of a man that's twisting my body up like a pretzel and fucking the shit out of me with no strings attached. He is that guy that is leaving me alone. He is letting me do what I want to do. He is not judging me. He's not running behind me. All he is doing is opening the door at 11.30 at night when I come to see him or he comes over my house, he fucks the shit out of me, he gives me the orgasms and he leaves. That's the space that she has. And until you and everybody else out there remember that y'all.